This is Ganoderma aplanatum. It's sometimes called the artist conch fungus or the artist shell fungus, and we'll get to why in just a moment. But these fungi are really sweet wood decaying fungi from the genus Ganoderma. It's a fairly good sized genus in our area with some really distinctive members, including this guy. They have a shelf-like woody fruiting structure that is very tough. They're not something that easily breaks apart. And they grow on decaying hardwood trees, uh, either as saprophytes or as parasites. They tend to have a brown to buff colored top to the fruiting body, and they can sometimes have a slightly dusty appearance. They may also be more of a light gray color on occasion. It just depends on what they're fruiting on and the age of the specimen. As Ganoderma fungi, they don't have gills on the underside of the fruiting body. They have very, very small pores and they produce white spores that are released off of the fruiting body and float away in the wind. Uh, they're called artist conch fungi because when you bruise them or mark them with any kind of an implement, a pocket knife, a twig, or your fingers, they very readily bruise and uh, have a distinctive darker color underneath. And so people will often use these fungi to create really beautiful, almost uh, scrimshaw style depictions and drawings on the fruiting bodies of these fungi.